Hi, I'm Dr. Patty Mahoney, and I'm from Full Circle Veterinary Care in Johnstown, Colorado. And we're doing a series of videos on things that people ask me about all the time. So it's a bunch of how-to videos, and hopefully you find these helpful. Hi, I'm Dr. Patty Mahoney, and I just wanted to go through a video clip on ear cleaning. So we're going to get that started today. The most important thing when you're actually cleaning a dog's ears is actually has a lot to do with the anatomy of the dog. So when you look at this picture, there's a picture here, and you can see this, and then this is a blow-up of that same area here. What happens is that as humans, our ear canals when we're young are very horizontal like this. That's why you hear of young kids having ear infections. As we age, our ear canals become more vertical, and so as adult humans, we don't have as much trouble with ear infections. A dog is more prone to ear infections throughout their entire life because throughout their life, this ear canal remains very horizontal. So it's really important to be able to get all of your ear medication or your cleaning solution, whatever you're using, all the way down to where you need it to go. The important part with that is learning, because of this anatomy, the best way to hold the ear. So what you want to do is you want to take the ear flap itself and you want to pull it up and then you want to pull it away from the head. When you do that, you're actually going to be straightening this out so that you don't have as much of a 90 degree angle here and you have more of a straight shot of getting that solution or medication down to where you need it. We're going to demonstrate today how to start to clean ears. And this is a real young pup, so we're going to distract her while we do this and kind of just give her the idea of what we're doing here. Little Sinise is nine weeks old, so this is a lickety stick to distract her. What we want to do with cleaning ears is you want to pull up on the ear flap and then away from the head. That makes a pretty straight shot for where we want to go ahead and be able to get um, cleaning solution or medication down in the ear. So in order to get started with this, you want some just some few basic things. So some cotton balls, some Q-tips, and then a good professional ear cleaning solution. When you first do this again, you want to hold up on the ear and out. Squirt just a little bit of your cleaning solution down in the ear. And then go ahead and clean every place that you can see with the Q-tip. You never want to put a Q-tip down in the ear. It is really easy to rupture an eardrum. So the only place that the Q-tip can go is right here on the very outside of the ear. Once you're done with that, then you can use a cotton ball and you can clean down in the ear and get all that debris and dirt out that way. That's the only thing, nothing smaller than your elbow and your ear, so no Q-tips down inside. Use cotton balls for that and then a Q-tip just for anything that you can see just on the outside of the ear here. I'm Dr. Patty Mahoney from Full Circle Veterinary Care and uh, this is Grizz. Grizz is 10 years old and he is volunteering to be um, one of our um, ear cleaning demonstration dogs here. And so what I'm going to do is show a few of the things that you're going to need um, to do this. Just make sure you've got some cotton balls, some Q-tips, and then a good basic ear wash solution. One of the most important things is where you hold the ear. So you want to pull his ear up and away from his head. So if you hold it like this, you're going to have the best chance for a straight shot to get down the ear cleaning solution where you want it to be. What you want to do when you do that, and I'm going to go ahead and turn his head just a little bit here, pull up on his ear, and I'm going to go ahead and squirt it down in there. And that's real normal because it feels funny to have something down in your ear. You actually want to squirt ear cleaning solution until you just see it start to spill out so that you know that you've got it full all the way down the canal. Then what you want to do is just massage. And this is the base of the ear. So it's just below the level of the eye. And that's just massaging to release any dirt and debris that you've got in there. And then you want to use um, cotton balls to come in and just dip down in there. And that soaks up any of the extra fluid down there. The only time you want to use a Q-tip is when you use the outside, when you want to clean the outside of the ear. So if you want to clean any of this, you want to do that with a Q-tip. Never use a Q-tip down in here. You want to make sure you don't do that because dogs suddenly turn and move their head and you can um, rupture the eardrum that way. So make sure anytime you use a Q-tip, it's just on the outside of the ear. Now if you have a dog that is a little bit anxious, nervous about this, um, one of the good suggestions and tips that you can do is to try to tire them out a little bit before you go through and you do this. So if you have a treadmill to walk them on, if you can play a good game of ball, anything that you can do so that right when we put them up on the table, it helps them to not be quite so anxious and nervous, calms them down just a little bit, got a little bit of that energy out before you get started with this process.